Hey everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I will show you some features of VS Code and also some extensions that you can use to like get a productive and efficient code result. Okay, so you can use these features for more efficient code. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so the first feature is to copy a line or a paragraph down okay so for example uh, i have a list here and let me just show you the website here it is looking something like this we have two list here and uh, if i just want to uh, another list i will just copy this and then i will come down here and then i will paste it okay so it is fine but uh, you can do this more quickly and how you can do this you just have to select this and then you have to just press ctrl plus d okay and then your whole paragraph or whole selected line will be copied down uh, but you cannot like use the control plus d because you have to change some settings okay so let me show you how you can do this so click on the setting then uh, click on keyboard shortcuts okay and then in the search bar as you can see in the search bar uh, search for copy line down so as you can see here you can see the copy line down and i have already changed it to control plus d but by default it will be something like control plus shift plus d or something like that but you can change it by clicking on, on this pencil sign and then you can like add control plus d here okay so it is like saving a lot of time here okay and then the next feature uh, is uh, using alt plus arrow keys okay so for example if i just want to uh, like move this heading line okay move this heading line uh, bottom okay to the bottom so you i can use alt i can uh, hold alt and use the arrow keys to move it okay so as you can see here i am moving it by holding the alt and uh, using the arrow keys so it will also save you a lot of time here okay then uh, uh, a lot of time uh, I have also experienced myself that I will not get any snippets. So what are the snippets? Uh, let me show you. So in the style tag, if I just write H1 and I, I want to style it, I will write CO. And then as you can see, here, these are the snippets you will get. Okay. So this is like recommending me all the like uh, uh, features starting with CO. So if I just write color here, and but for some reason i want to just backspace here okay so as you can see now i have only co okay but uh, now it is not showing me any recommendations so in that case you can just uh, just type control plus space okay so just have to uh, hold control plus space and then you will get all the snippets okay so this is also one of the feature and uh, then I want to show you some extensions. Okay, so remove this H1 tag from here. So uh, let me just show you an example. So what if uh, you want to uh, like change this H1 tag to a div tag? You first have to change uh, this. Okay, and then you have to change this also. But what if you just have to change only the opening tag? Okay, so for that we have an extensions called auto rename tag. Okay, so download this extension called auto rename tag. Oops. Okay, so download this auto rename tag ex extension. And what it does, let me just show you. If I just uh, backspace this H1, as you can see here, it is also changing the close tag. And if I just write div, so as you can see here, this is also changed okay so you can use this to save some more time and then the next extension is called prettier so as you can see here download this also it is a code formatter oops okay so it is a code formatter and what it does it will format your code so uh, like for example if i am just like writing a random in a random way <clears throat> okay and then like the code is not in a like perfect line or a format way okay so you just have to right click and you can click on this format document width and you can select prettier so as you can see it will just format your whole document and it looks 
ब्यूटिफुल ओके इट विल बी मोर रीडेबल एंड मोर अंडरस्टैंडेबल देन वन मोर फीचर इज टू फॉर दिस शॉर्टकट फॉर कॉन्सोल लॉग ओके सो लाइक इन द स्क्रिप्ट टैग और इन अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट यू आर वर्किंग विद जावा स्क्रिप्ट यू हैव टू राइट कॉन्सोल लॉग सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट कॉन्सोल इट इज रिकमेंडिंग मी कॉन्सोल बट नॉट कॉन्सोल लॉग एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट डॉट लॉग एन अ ब्रैकेट सो इट इज लाइक वेस्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम हियर बट आई हैव अ शॉर्टकट विच इज कंट्रोल प्लस एल सो आई विल जस्ट टाइप कंट्रोल प्लस एल एंड यू विल गेट द कॉन्सोल लॉग सो हाउ आई हैव डन इट लेट मी शो यू हाउ यू कैन डू इट ऑल्सो सो क्लिक ऑन द सेटिंग्स then click on this settings as well and then click on this uh, at the top right corner this file icon okay and then you will just open this settings dot json um oops not this one uh, click on the settings and uh, that settings oops not uh, sorry sorry a uh, click on a keyboard shortcuts and then click on this file icon okay then you will see this key bindings dot json here at the bottom you can see i have a key binding which is control plus l so i have added this key bind and it is used to print control or sorry console log so you can just copy this code here okay so just copy this code from the video and paste it in this json file then you can just uh, write just type control plus l and you will just get the console log so it is way quicker all right and uh, the next uh, thing is uh, like the bracket colors okay so what i mean by bracket colors or uh, let me just uh, close all these tags uh, you can see i have a uh, like an html file and there are some javascript functions written here and as you can see on the brackets here these are all the same color which is white and like it is difficult to uh, recognize where the bracket is opening and where it is closing so to make it more like understandable uh, you can color those brackets and in order to do so click on settings and then click on settings again then search for bracket pair okay and as you can see here there is a setting called bracket pair colorization and you just have to check this box now if you will see you can see all the brackets are now colored and you can and you can like see where the bracket opens and where it closes so this like helps to debug the code okay so it will be a lot easier to debug the code all right and uh, the final feature is uh for those who are like building a website okay so if i just uh, go to the website here you can see this is our website uh you have to click uh, right click and then click inspect and then you will see <coughs> sorry and then you will see a uh, option of lighthouse so what is this lighthouse it will generate a report of your website okay so this is only for those people who are like making a website so this will generate a report of your website okay so how it is performing uh, how much time it is taking to load and uh, more things okay so click on this lighthouse option then you can select for mobile and desktop so first select for desktop and then make sure to select all these options because it will generate the repo- report upon these options then uh, click on this analyze page load so it will take few seconds uh, the time depends on your website if your website is huge it will take more time to load okay so yep as you can see here the report has been generated and we got 100 in all these except okay except this seo okay so we got 89 in seo but 100 in all these we got 100 because it is a, like a, a very small website so that's why we got 100 but uh, the like 80 to 85 is also very good okay and i will tell you a way to make this 89 turn into 100 you just have to write a one line code okay so come to your website pay a uh, vs code and then in the head tag okay you can see the head tag 
write meta and then you will uh, get recommendation for this meta desc which is a description so click on this and you will get provided with a content okay and then inside this content you have to write something about your website so i will write uh, it is a normal website okay so you can you like you can write anything okay so now save it and let's generate the report again so to generate the report again click on this plus icon and then click on the analyze so now you will see the seo will be also 100 okay so let's see let it load and yep as you can see here the seo is also 100 and uh, it will celebrate as you can see it will celebrate something like this and all the values are 100 okay so that means our website is like at the best performance so i hope you like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one